What's going on YouTube? This is Adam from Adam Gaming and welcome back to Agrarian Skies Numero Dos. Yeah, we got some uh, weird flashies in the background. <laughs> As you can see, it looks a little bit prettier, doesn't it? That's because I added a few mods to the mod pack. Um, they're nothing like super overpowered or anything like that. One of them was Carpenter's Blocks um, because I wanted some like fancier blocks to you know uh do some base renovations and we're gonna have to get to that in just a second because we did so much off camera oh my goodness i just went absolutely wild so i'll show you guys that in a second uh second of all i added immersive engineering uh and immersive engineering integration so we could uh, hook that up to ae2 um some might say that's not you know you know that's overpowered and that's not you know what the mod pack was intended to do um, but really guys, I'm really only going to use it for like, um, like facades and stuff like that. Like for the power running, you know, from line to line. I just like that style. You know, it just looks really good with the kind of style I play. I do a lot of magic mods and I don't do like a whole lot of like tech mods. Um, oh my goodness. Get my body squared away. <laughs> there we go. Um, so like I do like a lot of, you know, magic mods and I like the way that immersive integrate, uh, immersive engineering looks. It's very like steampunky and I kind of like that so hopefully you guys understand um, you know about me adding that into the pack it's not super overpowered we still got to craft all the stuff um, and yeah uh, so we got to like get you know like hardened clay for stuff and that's you know got to make like clay in the barrels Any anyway we'll get to that in a little bit and the last thing I added was optifine um, so that way I could fix you know let's just go ahead and get turned around here so look at that um, while I'm explaining Optifine. So we still got the little thing over there, but I finished all the rings all the way around and I added two more islands. I don't know if I added that island on the last episode. It's been about a week since I recorded an episode, but yeah, I did like these little glowstone half slabs with a torch, uh, well, not, with, <laughs> not with a torch, with a, uh, with a saw. I made a saw, we made that. So I was able to make like these like little pretty glass facades and then put like a glowstone half slab under that so no more torches looks very clean in my opinion um and the optifine updated the texture pack too so like the sky looks a little bit prettier i like the colors a little bit more um so yeah pretty much and i'm doing some like just general um you know ideas of what i want the base to look look like so i don't know if what you guys think about that i kind of like that um I'm digging it you know it's like kind of like these like big like saucery looking you know they're not like the roof doesn't slope too much you know let's just get under here so that I can show you guys what I mean so like the roof doesn't slope that much and like it's just big enough to where like it feels kind of grandiose but it's not super hard to make like that just required like a bunch of half slabs Again, some of these like glass covers and some glowstone. I had to sift a ton of um, um, gravel. Or no, no, I had to do a ton of uh, like witch farming. Like I turned the mob farm back on and like uh, killed a bunch of witches. Like that spawns a lot of witches surprisingly. So that was good. I was able to get a ton of glowstone and then double it by making uh, the slabs. Anyway, so we're uh, actually spawning squid too. Uh, that was like kind of just like a. A surprise to me like I came over here there was like a squid dying I was like hey that's kind of cool that's unintentional um so yeah like I moved a bunch of stuff around and then I made a little platform down so we might do that on each island so we'll have like a platform down and a platform up um and that is where we like we can run because eventually like all this will be covered in grass um you know so we won't be able to see underneath and then we could have like these like little basements um, and then we could like run like little tunnels and like we could like move all of our wires underground Well like under this, you know um, So we won't see any of it above ground. I don't know just some basic like um, General base designs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I could take all the criticism <laughs> tell me if there's like anything you guys think I should do and I'll take it into consideration Okay, so the plan for today. Let me get some food in me first of all cuz I'm hungry well, peckish rather. <laughs> We're gonna get the mob farm, the not the mob farm, the uh, tree farm started today. I went ahead since we've been derping about like the last couple episodes. I just went ahead and made everything. <laughs> yeah, we just went ahead and made everything. 
off camera, but I did go through all of it. I just did an absolute crap ton of um, gravel sifting and stuff like that. So I got a ton of materials, and since we did the uh, Tinker Smeltery on uh, one of the last few episodes, I was able to double everything. So that was awesome. We were able to get so much stuff. So I'm going to walk you through how we're going to do this. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab all this. Um, this is some of our LV wire from Immersive Engineering. That's how we're going to run our wires and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, like, you know, what the basic power movement is. So, again, like, maybe that's considered a little bit cheaty, but, you know, hey, I'm just going to go with it. Um, we had some stuff over here, too, if I'm not mistaken. I started running out of <laughs> crafting tables. <laughs> uh, okay, so we needed some of these. So we're going to make a crap ton of those. And then we're going to make some of these as well. Oh, I needed some chests. So we're going to have to make a little bit of wood. Um, we're going to do five of these. And we need five chests to finish that. We're going to do five of these. Oh, no, we just need one of these. Okay, so we're going to do that. We need to make some chests, so I need to go cut down some trees. <laughs> We're going to start putting some of this down, though, so I can at least show you guys what's up. And then, oh, I need to make a few furnaces as well. So we're going to go underneath here. Well, first of all, we're going to put... Um, where's this guy? This guy. I'm going to put this guy over here. Now I need to make a precision sledgehammer, I think is what it's called. Okay, so that guy goes there. Oh, he's facing the wrong way around. Um, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like one of those, like if you break it, like it just like breaks the whole block or something stupid like that. Okay, so that's where the items come out. Okay, so he is going to cut the trees down for us once we get him some power. Then we need, where's the center? Is that the center? Uh, no, no, that's not the center. Come here. That's the center, right? Yes, yes, that's the center. Okay. <laughs> so that is our planner. We're going to need to get some saplings. I'll probably go grab those during a cut or something like that since I need to make some chests and some furnaces and stuff like that. Um, we're going to do some of this. Oh, and I forgot to make our... Do we have some? Yes. Ha. <laughs> I knew I brought these crafting tables down here for a good reason. <laughs> so we're going to make a few of these like power connectors from Immersive Engineering. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do some of this, I believe. Was it that? No, no, no. Hold on. It was uh, this. There we go. Okay. So that's some of these uh, LV wire connectors. So we could stick that guy on there. We're going to need our steam dynamos. The steam dynamos are going to go here, here, and here. We could put those on the top, I believe. And then we could get some of this. You know what? Since we got a bunch of these, I'm going to actually string this along the top so we could actually keep all the wires nice and neat. Um, so we could do this, and then we could do that, and then we could do that. Okay. Then we could do this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then this guy was under here, if I'm not mistaken. But can we do the power from there? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to figure that out. So I'll do a little bit of testing between this cut and the next, because we're starting to run low on the time of the episode already, because I had a lot of explaining to do. Um, so we needed, that's right, we need the chest for the item transfer nodes. Um, and then we need to make an, oh wait, we made our Accuus accumulator. Okay, so I need to get some water down here as well. Uh, we're going to put the Accuus accumulator here. But that should have completed a ton of quests. So before I let you guys go and I get some uh, more stuff done, let's uh, complete some of these quests. So we got learning the sky block. That was our water from air, Accuus accumulator, get got good. That is some 24 apples, water-infused stone, or reward bag. I'm going to take the reward bag. Why not? Um, we, we're probably we're going to do a bunch of quests tomorrow. After we get this set up today, uh, we're going to do... Quest day is uh, next episode. So we're going to just do an absolutely crap ton of quests. Um, do we have anything else? Oh, look at that. Tinkers. <laughs> so I wanted to save this uh, to do on camera. Oh, man. I didn't even make a gear cast because I got... I was just going... <laughs> Going full speed, wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's see, so there's that. We get some uh, slimy sapling and some aluminum ingots. Or aluminum brass ingots, rather. Three iron ore and an iron ingot. So, uh, two copper ore, very nice. Two bronze ingots. <laughs> uh, we had silver, so we get another silver ingot. Oh my god, the music <laughs> it just keeps going. 
Gold ingot is going to give us two invar. What is redstone gold? What? Redstone level level tools start at redstone and could be leveled to silver level. So why does why do we need a gold ingot for redstone? Ah, whatever. <laughs> that gives us two invar. Uh, I made obsidian ingots because I made some new tools, um, which is a funny story, actually. I have... Uh, <laughs> While I was building all this, I fell off the edge and lost all my tools and everything. So, yeah, <laughs> I had to make some more tools. Uh, so I should have already gotten that. Maybe I had to have it on me or something. I don't know. Uh, steel. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out. Slimy. Uh, slime balls. Okay. So we did a bunch of that. That's awesome. Do we have anything else we could complete that we just did on accident while I was doing a bunch of stuff? No. Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to take a quick break here, get the rest of the stuff that I need, because uh, I didn't think about the chess and stuff like that, so I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys, we're back. Alright, so I did quite a bit of doing on camera. It's, it's an awesome setup, but it just takes so much setting up. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to make sure we got like through this episode, and by the end of the episode, we were cutting trees down so <laughs> i had to do quite a bit of this off camera but i'll go ahead and give you the lowdown okay so the harvesters out here i made some of these iron upgrades so these are super easy it's three iron three plastic a gold nugget and two redstone so it's super dirt cheap we already have the materials we're gonna stick this bad boy in here what that does these things only do like a five by five or something like that but if we use this precision slant <laughs> precision sledge hammer there we go <laughs> which is like three plastic sheets and a uh, two sticks it shows you the area of effect so this light blue one is our harvester so since uh since we put this upgrade oh okay and we can uh move that around if we so choose um if we take it out and we look at it again yeah it's like uh what is that three by three so these uh upgrades will do like the this is times three i think yeah and you can see we have a bunch of them here so this oh no it's oh no that's silver there we go so that's times three you do times four which would be 12 by 12 or something like that i don't know math don't have time for that okay so we know that that is going to cover our entire dirt platform so that's going to harvest all the good stuff for us that's awesome okay so we're going to head down here yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on down here too. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got, what What was that? Did you hear that? Am I going insane? I think I'm going insane. So we got an aqueous accumulator down here, which we made on the other side of the break with two things of source water. Uh, that should be plenty to keep up with our steam dynamos, which are over here. These are getting water pumped into them uh, and they got power going out to our two little things. I had to do a little bit of doing just to make it look pretty um, and we'll put some more of these like covers to cover up, you know, the little wire going into there to get our power up to the uh, harvester. This is our planter right in the middle um, with some saplings. We're going to go ahead and stick a iron upgrade in that bad boy as well. Oh, don't plant the toast. <laughs> don't plant toast, please. Okay, <laughs> so um, there's that uh, item transfer node going out the back of the harvester, going down here into a chest. So this will put... Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll put saplings, oak wood, and sometimes apples. So the apples will stay in here until I can find a way to pipe them out somewhere down the system or have it pipe out, you know, somewhere else. We're going to get some oak barrels done here <laughs> pretty soon. You know, we'll have like a bunch of like oak barrels, you know, with just a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so <laughs> we just needed to get running, first of all. So that will all come into here. I got two of these item filters, which are some sticks and redstone, dirt cheap. Um, we need one with wood. Now, if I, hold on. If I do this, are they both going to be oak wood? They're both going to be oak wood. Okay. So if I do this, okay, there we go. Um, I need a sapling. Oh no, I need one sapling. Are you serious? Okay. This one's oak wood, right? So I need to go find a sapling. Oh wait, we have one right here. So I will take one of you guys. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to put that sapling back where it belongs. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this one is our oak sapling one, so we're going to stick that guy in here. So that means only oak saplings will go through here. Um, it goes around this. Um, one plugs into it, and then another one plugs around this. Goes all the way over here, 
And uh, I went ahead and filled these up with dirt because we, we're going to automate this at some point. Uh, I just put it down just so we could have it there. But I don't want any of these like saplings going there. We want this to buffer with as many saplings as possible. So um, I you know, kind of like turned this off technically by filling it up with dirt. So all the saplings go to this. Anyway, okay. Oak wood will come down here <laughs> into these uh, three furnaces. We could do more furnaces if we want to in the future, but this is good enough for now. So that will go into the top. I put some buffered charcoal in here, so nothing will like go into the bottom. Like the oak wood won't go into the bottom for some strange reason. Uh, it'll only go in the top. That'll start smelting, and then either it'll go through our little system down here, which we'll get to in a second, or it'll go back up. And uh, once it fills up, like I think it will only like the charcoal will only go back where the charcoal is, you know, because we'll have wood in here. So the charcoal will fill itself up eventually, and then you know as it needs it, it'll like keep filling itself up with charcoal, which is a really cool system. I I, I like how that ends up. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. <laughs> I had to make a little bit of a platform because we had to move some of this wiring down even further. Um, so aqueous accumulator comes out there runs through this little oak sleeved cable sleeve sort of thing <laughs> and then all of our charcoal comes down here as well so it comes all the way over here and then as you can see the charcoal goes into these steam dynamos and the water comes up to the side okay so i'm gonna have to <laughs> off camera i'll clean all this up i'll destroy all these like little logs and stuff okay so i think that pretty much does it now Oh wait, do we need to put our we need to put our oak wood filter in here? Okay. Okay, so that does that. We should be able to go for a test run. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. We're gonna put 32. Oh wow, that's some uh glitchy glitchy. Optifine's not the best uh with texture packs. Oh boy, I can see the lag. <laughs> the lag hit me. Hey, look at that. Okay, so that's planting. I think that planted all of our saplings. Now we just gotta wait for them to grow up. Now we could expedite this process if we go grab our watering can, which is all, all the way over here. <laughs> Let's go grab that real quick. Maybe by the time we're get over here and get back, one of them will have grown and we could uh, see it chopping itself down. Oh no, there's a fire over there. <laughs> Good thing I got do not uh, fire tick rule thing. <laughs> uh, where's my watering can? There it, there it is, okay. Let's, oh, what was that? Squid. Squid eyes. <laughs> Squids have been dying. Okay. Oh, we're hungry. I'm actually hungry in real life, too. I need to take a dinner break here pretty soon. <laughs> hey, there we go. Awesome. Are you going to get cut? Get cut, son. Do work. Okay. I had... It has power. It's idle, though, so that's not good. Why are you idle? You can cut that down. Why aren't you cutting it down? Does it have to have, we might have to make like an emergency. I think it has to have like something to pump the sludge out to before it will work. So we need some copper, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's just one piece of copper wrapped around some glass will make us a tank. We're starving. Oh my God, <laughs> things are happening. All right, please don't starve. Okay, uh, let's see. We got two copper ingots, that's perfect, okay. Let's put out this fire. <laughs> Call the fire brigade. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. We need to do this. A little bit of this. No, it's not that. Okay. Uh, let's figure this out. Episode's going to run a little bit long today. Sorry about that. Uh, boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Oh, no. Okay. So it's just... Give me this back. There we go. So we're going to do two of those. We stack those on top of each other. And then I think we could do... We could upgrade these one more so we could hold just a little bit more. Going to wrap that in Invar. I think we have some Invar on us. Yes, we do. Um, we're going to need just a little bit more. That's Ferris. I need Invar. I know we have blocks of Invar somewhere. Do we not? Uh, we don't. Okay. Um, all right, screw it. I'll upgrade those to Invar some other time. <laughs> You know, I always think like I'm prepared and then like it turns out I'm missing like one of two things. <laughs> oh, no. That that chopped a little bit. Did it? 
All right, I don't know what's happening. Um, give me a tank. There we go. Tank, get placed. Are you gonna start chopping now? Why you no work? I don't understand. Hey, hey, dude. What's wrong with you? Why you not do the choppy? Okay, well. We got the whole system set up. Um, man, that is like glitching like something fierce. There's something clogging the system up to where it's not working. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. And we're about <laughs> out of time for this episode. Dang it. <laughs> it's never easy, is it? Um, okay. Well, why are you empty? I don't understand. Can this only pull out from the bot no it pulls out from the back why are you off can you only take power from the side maybe hold on we got to figure this out no you have power you have energy oh my goodness all right well i'm gonna have to figure this out off camera guys sorry about that it's never easy here on the sky block <laughs> always trying to figure something out uh, I'm going to get that finished, and then next episode, like I said, we're going to knock out a ton of quests since uh, the quest book has been, uh, what's the word, neglected <laughs> for the past couple episodes. All right, if you haven't checked out any of my social media, that's in the description below, and uh, check out some of my other series on, ooh, Shooting Star. <laughs> There's pluses and downs to, uh, or ups and downs to uh, Optifine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think of the uh, new base designs and all that. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Green Skies, number two. Peace out, you guys. Bonus video time. <laughs> I just want to bring you guys in for just for a few more seconds. Uh, I know this video has gone on so long. It's working. Look at that. Yeah, very nice. So, oh, my God. Look at this. This thing is just going crazy. So this thing's already full. We're going to have to find, like, we're going to have to do a sludge boiler. Um, but pretty much the only thing that was going on was you have to output to a chest and then a transfer node. It doesn't just go straight out a transfer node. So that's fixed. Um, everything's chugging along down there. So, uh, we'll check that out on the next episode. I'll <laughs> see you then. Peace out, you guys.